Okay, so we got the scales all connected. The little spidery wires everywhere. And they're all hopefully in the right spots. Scales are zeroed out. If they're not on zero, we just hit that button. They go to zero, but... Um, Kevin, you want to do the honors of driving her up there? Sure. So we're just going to drive it up on the scales. Let's see what it weighs. Scales should be on all of them. Yep. And it weighs, drum roll, 6,171 pounds. 6,171. I don't know if that's heavy or light, but that's what it weighs. 6,171. So that's the 2013 that we just did, 6,171-ish pounds. Now I'm going to go get the 2015, which should weigh substantially less. And then we'll see what that one is. Here's the 2015, same truck, same color. Like I said earlier, the only difference is this one is a XLT, the other one was a Platinum. Actually, there is another difference. That one was an EcoBoost, and this one's a five liter, but we will ignore that fact for right now. Here we go. Here we go. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? You have a guess. I am guessing fifty eight twenty. You are wrong. I am wrong. Whoa, what? No way. Ah, uh, that's another thing I didn't expect. <laughs> so the steel body was 6,171 pounds, like almost 6,200 pounds. So I always thought it was rid ridiculous that they went to aluminum because I didn't think that it would be that much different, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But that's a huge difference. Both of these trucks are empty. They both have tonneau covers on them. This one is an XLT, so it doesn't have the power running boards. And it doesn't have those bigger rims and tires. We'll give those like, what do you think? 200 pounds 200. difference from these ones. I mean, so at least a thousand pounds difference from this truck to the other one. The only other difference that I just thought of Kevin was this one's a five liter, the other one's a 3.5. So EcoBoost to a five liter, but, and I'm, I would assume probably the five liter does weigh a little bit less because it doesn't have all the turbos and crap, but it does have two extra cylinders. Anyways, that's a crazy huge difference. I think now that we have that one scale, not upside down. Do it again. Maybe we'll run the other truck in just to make sure it's still at 6171, but we'll get this one unhooked and back it off the scales.
Last time it was uh, 6,171 pounds. What is it this time? 59. Really? Wow, that's kind of a huge difference. The only other, the only thing that we did wrong last time was oh, we had one of these scales upside down. Maybe that's a huge deal. I don't know, I've never weighed anything with them upside down, so I'm not real sure. But anyways, we're at 59.23 and the other truck was 49.70, right? Still, Still but basically a thousand pounds. And I mean, I was accounting 200 pounds for these wheels and tires, but I don't know. I don't think they're that much more. You would think maybe each one is 15 pounds heavier than the stock. But anyways, now we know 59.23 for the 2013. So aluminum is lighter. Imagine that heavy truck little baby light truck supposedly they'll do the same work um i don't know new versus old i guess old is worse new is better should get better mileage right i don't think it does 